to all of you that have subscribed to the channel, thank you. And to all of you that are watching but haven't subscribed, I really would appreciate it if you would. There's a bit of noise going on outside there when we've got the washing machine on in here and uh, the joys of working from home. But I'll have to go and check out what that racket is in a second. So this video is about uh, putting in our A plus content. And it's only a short video and um, I hope it's simply explained. And there's also another link which I've put in here to um, let you know that there's another video that I produced some time ago all about A plus content as well. We go to this, these dots at the end here, promote and advertise. And we go to A plus content, choose a marketplace. I'm going to go with the UK first because that seems to be where I keep selling most of my books. And I think I've mentioned that in a video once before where uh, it seems wherever you're posting from is the market you'll sell the most in. Or it's the one that gets pushed for you the most. I'll go with .co.uk. Manage A plus content. And you're given a couple of options. A plus content manager. You can search for the ACE in here. But I find it pointless because you've got to put it in again anyway. So I just start creating A plus content. Let me zoom out a little bit there. So you can see what I'm doing. Right, okay. Name Jacob and the Dinosaurs. Add a module. So what I do is I go with standard image and dark text overlay. I don't use this text box. Uh, and it doesn't show up in the A plus content on the listing if you don't use it. So what I need then is add a background. The size here, 970 by 300 pixels. So we go to Canva and the custom size. And we're in pixels, so we go for 970 by 300. And we create a new design. We start adding the elements that we've got in the cover or other parts of the book. Well, that's what I do anyway, um, because it's basically a header and I try to keep it looking like the book. So there's baby Jacob, there's Marley, the dog, Jacob of the dinosaurs, the background in and the title. So I shall download that, leave it as a PNG for what it's worth, the size of it and download and I'll save that in the file and I'll call that file A plus in this book. Right now what we need to do is choose another element. So we've got the image we've just downloaded. We've double clicked it or we've dragged it into position. We'll title it Jacob and so we add that. And like I say don't worry about this if you're using this you can have a play about there's so many different um, ways of doing your A plus and you'll have a bit of fun add a module. Now I like this one because it'll let me show a few of the pages off and give a little bit of information underneath. And we're starting to build up this image here. Enter headline text. This will get seen. So Jacob and the dinosaurs. Right now I can start filling these in. The image is 2020 by 2020 pixels. Uh, that's a minimum size. Now, as long as you're roughly in that area, you've got no problem. You know, if it was 250 by 250 or 300, 300, you know, you're better off trying to stay as clear as you can because it will compress it down. But just don't go too big. Right, so what we do is we need these images. So we go back to Canva and we add a page. Now, we know that this is 300 because we've made this here 300 for the header. So that, that's fine. We can go inside that. Now what we need is elements. We go all the way down to frames. See all. I'm going to use a square. And I'll stretch that out a little bit. Take it to the line. So I know that that's going to be around 250, 260 maybe. Um, so that, that's ideal. I can copy that page and copy it again and copy it again. Now I've got four of those pictures ready to go in. I don't know. Let's go with this one. I drag it into position, just like we did with the double page spread. Double click it, and I can move it about inside that frame. And click on the outside of it, and that'll do for that one. Click on that. Uh, drag this one over. Double click it, move it to the part that I want. 
click outside the frame and continue. We download each of the images separately. So download, we use transparent background because we want to get rid of all this white. All we want left is this that's in the frame and we choose all pages off and we pick each one. So page two and I'm going to go for download now. There it is. No background. And I'll, and I'll save it and I'll do that with each image. So for example, I want the next one. I go with share, download, transparent background, take the all pages off and go for the next one, which was three, download and so on. And just until they're all done. So we've got them in our A plus content folder. So now we go back to Amazon and we start putting them in. So I'll click on that. Let's have that one in. So it's how we want it and keywords for that one. Now the thing to do here is, is to make a list of all the words that you want to put in before you start doing this, this bit. So you, you're going to want a header. You're going to want enough information to put in each one of these boxes. If you're doing it this way or whichever way you're doing it, and you're going to have to add text, get the text prepared first. And that's exactly what I've done here in word. Each of these sections has a title and the words I want to put in. So now I can just put them in. Jacob and his dog for the title. Add Jacob and his dog, Marley, and the text. Back to the Word document. So I'll copy the text for that box, put it in, and I'll go to the next one. You know, I actually quite like the way that's sort of centered there. I'm going to have a little look and see in a second. Okay, so I'll put that in. Yeah, the image is fine actually like that. I actually uh, quite like it, so I'm going to edit that one. Right, okay, so I'm going to put the same header I just used for that one, 18 double page spreads in there. Another image, and last one. Okay, so that's that done. I don't really want to add any more modules for this at this time. You can play about with it, like I say, you can do a preview. Right, so apply the ASIN in the bookshelf. Copy the ASIN. Now here it says add ASINs. So paste and it will do a little search and that's the one we want. There's the first one in. Now we have to apply content and now it's down here applied ASINs. So that's that done. And it's not published yet but it will be shortly. Next review and submit. Now I'm happy with that. Yeah it looks fine. Okay submit for approval. And it can take up to seven business days for your content to be approved, if approved. Up to 24 hours for it to appear on a digital page after it is published. Submit for approval. Your changes have been saved. Your content was successfully submitted for approval. And um, that's basically it.